A shim is a piece of metal or other material used to fill in space between parts, which makes them an integral part of the alignment process. Shims have three main functions as it relates to shaft alignment. One, raise or lower machines for the purpose of precision alignment. Two, give a smooth surface for the machine's feet to contact. And three, compensate for soft foot. Let's look at these three functions in more detail. First, shims help to raise or lower machines. Shims are used to raise the movable machine so that its elevation or height at the shaft center line is equal to the shaft center line of the stationary machine. There may be different amounts or thicknesses of shims between the drive end and non-drive end. This is done to correct any angularity that might be present. Second, shims are used to achieve a smooth surface. In many cases, the base plate or frame may not be completely smooth. Shims can compensate for this. Since most pre-cut shims have a smooth surface, this minimizes the chance for dirt and other debris to get between the shim and the machine feet. Third, shims can compensate for soft foot, which is a common problem when performing a shaft alignment. If one foot is higher or lower than its adjacent foot, a shim can compensate for this irregularity. In some instances, a shim may be cut or stepped to compensate for an angled soft foot. It is also important to note that proper care and handling of shims is key when it comes to shaft alignment. Shims should always be clean, flat and straight. Bent, dirty or painted shims will cause irregularities in your measurements. Additionally, shims should be big enough to cover at least 50 to 75% of the foot. When shims are installed, they should be slid in until they contact the hold down bolt, then pulled back about a quarter inch or so. This prevents the threads of the bolts from bending the shim as the bolt is tightened. Remember to minimize the number of shims you use. It's always better to consolidate with thicker, fewer shims. Lastly, measure the thickness of shims with a micrometer or caliper. Even small amounts of error on shim thickness can be compounded, causing errors. Measure to be sure that the labeling on a shim can be trusted. We'll end with an important takeaway about your shim kit. Please keep your shims clean and organized. It may seem like busy work now, but if you need to complete an alignment quickly, maybe because production is down, you'll be glad your shims are organized by thickness and easily accessible. For more information on shaft alignment, please visit vibraline.com.